This one's about the uh, new rack extension slash feature of Reason 7. Uh, well, basically, uh, if you purchase Reason 7, you get the audiometric, audiomatic retro transformer. And this rack extension is also available in the Propellerhead shop for users of 6.5 who don't want to upgrade to 7. So, um, the video I'm going to do today is uh, talking about the audiomatic as not a creative effect, but rather something that will uh, subtly help you mix. Um, and I've already prepared this, so basically all I'm doing is showing off this device uh, and a couple of other ones. But um, yeah, the Audiomatic is a really, really good plugin to uh, give you a really thick, saturated, nice, beautiful sound. Um, and something that always reminds me of Daft Punk's new album. Uh, they just have this really clear yet saturated 70s sound and the Audiomatic um, is something that resembles that perfectly. Um, so yeah, here I've got a piano line, uh, which is played by a Radical Piano, and I've already set up the Radical Piano a little bit, because um, I just want the sound to be, you know, the way in a, the, the way I prepared it. So um, I've got the microphone blend in the middle between uh, Deluxe Grand Jazz Mics and Deluxe Grand Close Mics, but what I did was I turned the character knob to the left to position minus eight, so that gives a nice subdued character. And also I turned the dynamics, uh, the mechanics uh, section down a little bit. So let's listen to the piano line here. Uh, I also have reverb on this, but yeah. Um, this piano line sounds very natural and um, it's got a high dynamic range, but uh, this is a dance production and I want absolutely no dynamic range in this whatsoever. So what I did was I put two audiomatics uh, just behind each other and they're both on full 100% dry wet. And the way Audiomatic works, or the workflow that's kind of uh, the center of Audiomatic, which is something I really, really like, um, is that it's tailored after Instagram. And they also use this analogy in the um, promotional video for this device. Uh, with Instagram, it's basically you have a picture and then you apply certain filters. And those are presets of various um, image design uh, procedures. For example, applying a vignette or... Uh, giving more uh, pronounced dark areas and more pronounced high areas and cutting the middle areas a little bit and oversaturating the colors and all that kind of stuff. And Audiomatic does that to sound. So we've got tape, hi-fi, bright, bottom, spread, radio, and all these presets basically that will color your sound in a certain way. So what I'll do here is activate the Audiomatic and I've got this one set to hi-fi and you'll immediately hear a difference. So this is the piano without. And it adds a really subtle hi-fi shine to the sound when I activate it. And that's something I really, really like. So this already brightened up the sound a little bit. But what I, de what I did then was add another Audiomatic and um, redid the effect. And now it's almost too pronounced. So I'm going to see if we can find another filter here or another preset or mode or whatever that will help us to um, get a nicer sound to this. So the tape really brings out the mids and makes it warm right here. Bright brightens it up really nicely. But I almost don't want that. I want that subdued, subtle character. Bottom is awesome for... Yeah, for just giving an incredibly a wide base, but um, that's uh, always very dangerous using this preset for the mix down later. And then we've got the more creative presets over here. But what I like here is tape. So I'm just gonna leave it at tape. And then I'll give it some nice tape distortion on the screen. Drive back on the damage control and add another compressor. And apart from these incredibly loud mechanical noises that you get from like four compressors in a row, uh, I think this piano is actually incredibly thick and beautifully rich. Um, and that's something that's partly due to the Audiomatic. And um, I like looking at this plugin more as some sort of like a subtle mix uh, helper rather than a, a, like a creative effect because you could also go, uh, I don't know, wash on one of these and you'd get these 
or Eevee is even better. Just these absolutely crazy sound effects. But what I like to do is just use tape, hi-fi, bright and bottom, the uh, four top ones, because they just... It's kind of like having a combinator with a preset um, effect of uh, some EQ, subtle distortion, saturation, parallel processing, compression, all that kind of stuff. But it's just packed into this quickly addable device. So uh, this is the Audiomatic. And uh, I, in this case, I'm using it as a subtle mixing helper. So thanks for watching this video. Dorian Cut out.